One eyebrow looks great and sculpted, and the other just looks terrible. Story of my life though, right? What's up guys? So today I am doing a full face of first impressions, and not everything is going to be full face. There are a couple of things that aren't new, so it's not going to be a first impression for me, really, like my eyebrows. Nothing new here. I used the same product, which was the Anastasia Brow Definer. Um, so nothing new for that. And there's a couple of other things that aren't new. But everything else is completely new to me, so I'm super excited to try all of this. And if you watched my haul, this is going to be the same makeup look that I'm going to be wearing in that video. And that video will be out before this one, hopefully. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to try out this stuff. Also, another thing is, it is not new to you at all. All of this stuff is like, it's been out for a while, but it's new to me and I'm just really excited to try something new. And the reason why I haven't gotten things that are like super brand new is because these things that, ha that have been out for a while... Um, are things that appealed to me when I saw them when they came out and I watched videos on them and I've always wanted to try them and so my birthday was on the 6th so I was like hey I might as well treat myself and I got a whole bunch of random new stuff you'll hear all this in the haul video if you watched it um, but yeah so I'm just super excited to try everything new and if you want to watch me get ready and try out some new things then keep on watching <laughs> So first I'm going to put on the Too Faced Lip Injec Injection, the Too Faced Lip Injection thing, um, it's a limp, limp, I cannot speak today, I'm so sorry, it is a lip plumper, and I'm just going to put that on, um, while I'm doing my makeup so that by the time I put on my lipstick, my lips are nice and plump, let's see how this works, I'm super excited, the packaging, super pretty, um, the cap or the lid. This is things I can tell you in the hall. Oh my god. Okay. Can't open it. <sighs> okay. There are some great things that I have heard about this thing. So. Mmm. That smells like my childhood. <laughs> it smells like, um, those lip glosses you would get when you were, like, if you're my age, you would get in elementary school, um, or middle school, but, I don't know. But, like, it smells like one of those, um, flavored ones, like the bubble gum or whatever. Alright. Okay. So far I'm not really feeling anything, but I mean I just put it on, so it makes my lips look really pretty and glossy, which I have been really into lately, is like really, oh I feel it, okay, <laughs> anyways I've been into like really glossy lips lately, so, okay so how I usually do my makeup is um, eyes first and then face, I always do it like that, even if there's not going to be fallout or anything, I've just always done it like that, wow I can really feel this, it's really tingly. Just want to like itch my lips. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use something so old, the Modern Renaissance palette. Woo! Super excited. Um, they've already come out with three different ones. Yeah, three different palettes like this. So I'm definitely far behind on the bandwagon. I could have gotten the Prism palette, um, but. I've always wanted the Modern Renaissance, and there are no mixed reviews on this thing. Like, there are mixed reviews on the other palettes, but on this one, no, everyone loves it. So, I'm super excited. I haven't touched it at all, so. Ah, my lips are so tingly, like it kind of burns. I might take this off in a bit, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll try and bear it. First I'm going to take some Bon Fre <laughs> I'm gonna have the hardest time saying this. Bon Fresco. Fresco. Bon Fre Fresco or whatever. However you say it. And I am going to use that as a transition shade. I have no clue what eye look I'm going oh that's 
super pigmented. Okay. I have no clue what eye look I'm going to do, but we'll just figure this out along the way. I'm thinking I want to do something a little deep in color so that I can have, use my white eyeliner, but I'm not sure. This is like super pigmented and it blends out so easily. All of you probably already know this because um, all of you probably already have this, but I'm just living for this. This is super exciting. Update on my lips. They're definitely getting like super plump, but it hurts a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's bearable, but it feels super tight. Like every time I talk and I move my lips and I do this, it like, it hurts. Like it feels really tight. I don't know, but so far I like the outcome of my lips. Like I like that they're more plump. Then I'm going to take Love Letter and I'm going to put that um, basically in the same place, but not as high up. Oh boy, this could either make or break me. This is so pigmented, I don't know why I picked up that much. Okay, so I'm starting out with a little and then I'm going to build my way up as anyone should do with makeup, duh. Um, and I'm using a very light hand. Oh my god, this is so pigmented. Like, I picked up a little bit, tapped off a lot, and rubbed it on the back of my hand. And it's still just like beyond pigmented. I am very impressed. Then I'm going to pick up Venetian Red and I'm going to put that all over my crease. I mean all over my lid. Wow, good job Marissa. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Sorry, I said crease. Um, and work it up into the crease. <laughs> Oh wow, this is super red. I'm scared I'm gonna, I mean it's not like super red, but it's like more red than my crease. I'm scared I'm gonna make it look like I have a freaking pink eye. Oh no, this is gonna turn bad real fast. I'm hoping that this is just gonna be one of those looks where um, after you put on eyeliner and lashes, it looks amazing. That's what I'm praying for. Now I'm going to use NYX liquid eyeliner, um, the white one, and I'm going to wing out my eyeliner. I'm going to try really hard to do this as much as I can on camera, but if I end up off camera, sorry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> So the white eyeliner is like really cool, but it feels really stiff and like it will crack easily and it like, it's definitely something I can feel on my eyes, um, but I don't know, it's still really cool to have I guess. Now I'm just going to use any black gel eyeliner, you can use any one that you have and I'm just going to um, tight line my waterline. Now I'm just going to put some mascara on my lashes. Um, to prepare for falsies and then I'll move on to my face. Okay, so now for primer I'm going to use the uh, Milk Blur Stick and I have like the cute little 
um, mini size because I'm testing it out and um, sometimes I wear this like for everyday makeup like just this and then mascara and like my eyebrows it's amazing I really like this stuff it just blurs out your entire face and you don't have to use too much also makes your face really matte which um, I really like because I have oily skin um, and this keeps it matte like throughout the entire day it's pretty awesome and I just rub it all over and then pat um and pat it into my face and just melt it in. For foundation, I'm going to use the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick in Porcelain. Um, I'm super excited to try this out. I'm super excited to try out a new foundation. Um, oh! I'm just going to put two stripes, one down one on my forehead. I'm gonna look crazy for a hot minute because my hair is gonna be out of my face but yeah I'm just super excited to see how this works out. I've heard so many great things about this. I know it's super old. I'm just gonna use a beauty blender to um, blend that out. Okay it's blending out alright. I was gonna use a brush but I was kinda scared to try a brush because I don't like brushes with any of my other foundations but I think I'm just going to do that. Sorry, beauty blender. Wow, I actually like this foundation with a brush. I'm just going to put on like a couple more little Stripes. This is amazing foundation. It looks like my skin, but better. I love this. And I actually like using a brush with this, which says a lot because I hate, hate with a burning passion makeup like foundation brushes. I don't think my bangs are going to go back to looking the same. Sorry, guys. I'm usually one for like matte foundations, but this one has like a more, um, how would you say, satin finish, I guess. So my face doesn't look like matte, but it still looks, I, I, I don't know how to explain this, but I love it. This is stunning. Then I'm just going to use my, um, Tarte Shape Tape, which I always use, so it's nothing new. I'm just going to put that under my eyes, on my small little blemish there, dot my forehead, dot my nose, and on my chin. Just a little bit, don't need much. Um, and this I'll use my beauty blender for. I love this. I have never been more obsessed with my face ever. Just like this combina combination with this concealer and this foundation. My skin looks flawless. I love this. I'm going to quickly set my under eyes because I have very <laughs> wrinkly under eyes. Um, so I'm going to set that immediately. And before I set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Highlighter Stick and Lit. Um, and I'm just going to put this on the high points of my cheeks. I don't really want to rub because I'm scared of moving the makeup around, so I'm just going to dab it on my nose. Where I usually put highlighter on my cupid's bow. Um, 
I don't like looking very highlighted because I have oily skin, so I don't really put highlighter in a lot of places. So I'm just going to stick to that. I'm so scared that these lights are washing everything out because I feel like this is amazing. Like, I use this stick for everyday too. Um, I'll use the blur stick and then I'll use this highlighting stick. Um, and then I'll just call it a day. I don't even set my face or anything. Um, and it it's amazing. It's super pretty. I love it. It stays all day. It doesn't feel greasy. It's fantastic. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in and set the rest of my face. And I'm using the Laura Mercier. Laura, Laura Mercier. The translucent setting powder that everyone else in the world uses. <laughs> I just can't say the word right now. I'm just going to set my entire face down my neck. Just so I don't get any more creasing. I have never liked my face more than I do now. And I don't know if you can see anything. I don't know if the lights are... Um, washing me out because usually when I think I'm being washed out and then I go back and I edit the video and I'm like oh I'm not being washed out so I, I can't really tell you right now if I am or not but like my skin looks amazing and without makeup it's not doing so hot right now I mean it's doing better than it has been um, but I'm obsessed I'm obsessed now I'm just gonna quickly contour my face um, this is nothing new either I'm just taking the cocoa contour kit I'm going to use medium I'm just going to... Oh, oh I dropped my brush. <laughs> that noise I made. I'm just going to hollow out my face because I like looking dead. So, I don't even bronze. I just hollow everything out. Now I'm going to try out the um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush stuff um, in Parte. Or Parte. Just has like three A's. Um, my sister had this kind of blush, um, like the Tarte Amazonian Clay blush, and I don't remember in which one she had it in, but I loved it, and every time I could get the chance to use it, I would. Um, so I, I'm super excited to try this out. Hopefully I like this color. It seems really pretty, so... I'm just going to use a highlighter that I've had for forever, and it's the Becca highlighter in um, Champagne Pop. Now let's go back in and finish the rest of the eye look. I'm going to go back in with Bon Fresco and I'm going to take the little cute little brush that the palette comes with and I'm going to use like the... Oh, there's a hair in my eye. I'm sorry, I'm like really bad at filming this part. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Then I'm, then I'm going to take um, the other side and I'm going to take Love Letter I'm going to do the same thing. Then I'm going to take the um, black gel liner and I'm just going to um, line my waterline and then smoke it out. Oh, that got too dark. Too fast! Oh, my lower lash line got like super dark super fast but I actually kind of really like it so yeah. then I'm going to take the Ardell foaming lashes and I'm going to do what you do with lashes put them on that was just a disaster trying to put on so I'm going to do the um, Ardell double ups or double wispies instead <laughs> Well, okay, so I finally got them on. They don't look, um, they don't look too good, but, um, you know, what are you going to do about it? 
Now I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Crush. I'm just going to do what you do with liquid lipsticks, put it on my lips. I like that, it's pretty comfortable. I like it, and my lips definitely look more plump. So, it's pretty awesome. And to finish off the look, I'm going to take the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which I have used before. Um, but it was a while ago, so. I feel like I'm not even touching my face. So this is the finished look and I um I actually really like it. I don't know um how I feel about the lashes and the white eyeliner. I think I next time if I'm going to um, do this look again I will just use my natural lashes and mascara because I think it looks really weird with eyelashes um I think it's also just because I butchered putting them on they look terrible <laughs> um I definitely could have done better than that love the foundation love the primer love the foundation love this lipstick it feels really comfortable like I don't even feel it on my lips love the eyeshadow palette I just love everything that I used the one thing that I don't like that much is the eyeliner but other than that everything else is amazing and I'm very happy with my purchases <laughs> um but yeah so that's it thank you so much for watching this probably super long and boring video and if you want to watch my haul you can do that you don't have to but you know you can if you want to um we got some cute stuff so and yeah oh another thing my lips they're not overdrawn. One side is um, because they're not even, but my upper lip is immensely bigger than my bottom lip, so that's probably, if I look weird, that's probably why. Um, but yeah, anyways, I love how this turned out. I already said that, and I just need to finish this. Whatever, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.